Hello, I'm the Fang the Mat to them. And then do we just have I don't know what we're doing. Just here. Just, uh, everybody just introduce yourself. I'm yeah. I'm just Mustang. Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Andrew Morrill. I'm the Fang. I'm Caden. And this is our project. So for our design, we prioritize accessibility and access in basically through visual pictures and videos, finding ways to locate hazards, sprinklers, AED devices, and other sort of obstacles or items that users may want to access within buildings. And these are usually built for inspectors to use so that they can map it out for the client to then later use. And then for our solution, what we're going to do is we're going to develop this object detection model. And it's going to be able to capture all these accessibility and hazard items within the building, um, basically using uh, video or image input, running that through an AI ML algorithm. Um, what that's going to do is that's going to get mapped to this matrix of the building. And these matrices are going to have points in all the corridors. And these points will determine not just the, the user's ability to determine paths of least travel to get from one point of interest to another within the building, um, but will also help with things like navigating uh, ADA compliance in spaces. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to. That's like if you play FIFA. Is there our solution here? Is <laughs> what um, about? <laughs> are you able to see my at least yeah. the screen with code? Yeah. So we originally wanted to present this on a website, but the website uh, failed with some IP port issues. Uh, so right now I'm just going to show you the code. We we have four samples. I'm going to, I'm going to show uh, our first sample here. And so our model will capture sprinklers. Uh, you can see the scores right there. They're pretty high. So this is guy uh, plays on the football team. Uh, he went. He went to my high school. And then we see that it's capturing the exit signs. He was. He was. Some more sprinklers. We go ahead and close out. I'm gonna play a, a different sample here for you. The OSU coaches, and I think they were talking to him about. So obviously, he's gonna capture more of those sprinklers. Our our model did really good for sprinklers. Um, and we can see that it's starting to capture these uh the the fire safety devices over here like i remember i i, I saw get, get a tackle against uh georgia in a semi and so we actually programmed uh, about 14 classes this includes fire hydrants or excuse me fire extinguishers pretty much any fire device uh the exits um <clears throat> outlets it did real good on outlets so if you're like an electrician he can locate the outlets real quick all right i'm gonna go ahead and close this and so some of the pitfalls again uh with our our project here the model had some confusion uh, for like water fountains it confused those for some of the fire uh, instruments some improvements that we definitely want to look at is uh fix the website get it get it so that the customer can upload an mp4 file and then uh, you know view it himself um, another improvement is uh, we want to be able to, to calculate the distance from camera to these objects. Uh, we would probably use like stereo vision or um, uh, there's a, another one uh, that I don't want to disclose at this time. He's like smaller. He was in a five star. And this is a uh, blueprint. But like, mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. I think we'll end about one minute, so please go.